Hello, in today's session of Visual JForex, I will be demonstrating to you the use of indicator block named RVI, the Relative Vigor Index. We will see how we can utilize this indicator block to design and develop the algorithmic setup using the Visual JForex platform. This indicator you will find to be listed amongst these uh, other indicators. So far we have seen this indicator starting from ATR to pivot in the prior session. Now it is the turn of the relative weaker index. So we head to the Visual J Forex board developed by the Ducoscopy Bank SA. Here I have added this indicator block and uh, for the session I am going to use this uh, on candle as our uh, start point. I have also included this uh, formula for calculation how these indicators uh, values are arrived at and uh, if we see I will uh, give you the brief idea of how this calculation works we are not really going to go into the details of these uh, calculations in uh, this uh, calculation you can see that uh, this is the difference between the opening and the closing levels of the last few candles we take the closing value and uh, then we deduct the opening value for the current candle and then we do the same for the uh, prior candles also we take into account the difference between the closing value and the prior candles opening values and we have to do it in succession for last uh, four candles and uh, similarly in the denominator also we have to take into account the difference between the high low of the current candle as well as last uh, four candles so we then do the summation we divide that sum by six and then we arrive at the resultant value so we have this particular combination of uh, calculations which needs to be carried out and then we derive this uh, rvi by dividing the numerator values by the denominator values and the signal line formula is a bit different here we have to arrive at this uh, signal line output using the rvi and the uh, prior rvi values so this is fairly complex that's why i said it's better to rely on the automated setup for uh, these calculations this will be done by the system so we don't really need to be too hassled by this complexity for us this uh, indicator block which is uh, cool and simple is uh, good enough and it will do what we command it to do all we have to do is uh, define these uh, four parameters appropriately and as a result of that we will be getting these uh, two output values which then can be utilized to set the conditions for any particular trade to happen whether you want the buy trade or the sell trade given the conditions prevalent in the market we will uh, also add this uh, indicator so here we have this euro usd is uh, hourly chart and the rvi has been plotted for last uh, 10 candlesticks of one hour each now this rvi value it oscillates uh, above and below this uh, zero line this is the uh, unbound so we have this uh, value going up and down but it is uh, mostly going to oscillate between these uh, positive and the negative territory depending on the momentum in the underlying instrument there are multiple ways which you can use these uh, indicators output values and uh, one of the simplest ways is to utilize this crossover structure whenever we see the rvi value crossing below the signal line then that uh, indicates the bearish turn for the underlying instrument and when we see the rvi value crossing above the signal line then that indicates the bullish turn for the underlying instrument but as is the case with most of the indicator this is not a full foot method and as you can see sometimes the signals get generated and it uh, turns out false so that happens that keeps happening with all the indicators and that's why it is uh, very important to customize and uh, see what is the best possible combination for the uh, given indicator and here in case of the rvi we will have to try to figure out on uh, what time frame we want to trade and uh, then define these rvi values accordingly one more use of this uh, rvi is to 
see for uh, the divergence if we see that the rvi indicator output values are falling but the price action is uh, still rising that means maybe uh, not always here also i should uh, give the disclaimer first that uh, divergence is happening and the turnaround in the price action is around the corner and uh, similarly or you can say inversely if we see that the rvi values are rising but the underlying uh, instruments price action is on the bearish side you can expect the turnaround to happen in uh, pretty short amount of time so that's how this uh, diversion divergence can also be utilized to design and uh, develop the algorithmic structure now coming to the time frame for defining the input parameters it uh, of course depends on your time horizon for the trade if you want to trade on the scalping kind of setup with the lower time frame then uh, these lower time frames like 10 minutes 5 minutes or 15 minutes will do the job if you want to trade for a longer time horizon with uh, more pips per trade then i think uh, the trade setups like hourly four hourly or even daily will uh, suit you better so this is uh, the question of the preference and your trading style and uh, the indicator block will work fine for all these uh, possible setups and we will see how these uh, parameters once defined will uh, get us appropriate output values so here these uh, rvi indicators input parameters need to be defined we have to define four input parameters the first thing first is the underlying instrument on whichever instrument you want to design and develop this uh, algorithmic structure you can use that particular indicator provided it is included and listed amongst these indicators so here you have to find the instrument of your choice and then start developing the algorithmic structure we keep the euro usd as it is for today's session but as i said you can uh, change the instrument anytime coming to the period of this uh, candlestick if you want the hourly time frame as i said it is uh, very important on what time frame you want the calculation to be done if you want to trade on the longer time horizon then i think the candlestick periods like four hourly or hourly should uh, suit better and if you want to trade from the scalping perspective then the shorter time horizons like 10 minutes will do the job so to demonstrate to you i will change it to say half an hourly there is nothing particular about half an hourly and you have to see what kind of structure is uh, going to improve the probability of uh, profit in uh, your setups shift is the look back period whether you want to take into consideration the current value or you want to go back in time and retrieve the prior data you can do so using this uh, shift parameter if you take the shift at zero then the current candles output values for the rvi will be taken into consideration if you change the shift to say one two three or so and so on you will have the respective output values for the rvi then uh, how many candlesticks uh, you want to use to calculate the rvi needs to be defined here if you want the last 10 periods candle uh, data to be taken into consideration we can keep it 10 this is the default value but if you want to change the structure if you want to trade on the using the data for longer uh, time horizon then you can do so all you have to do is uh, change this uh, parameter and uh, you can see the plotting for the rvi has changed drastically as i have changed the number of period which is uh, which are applicable for this uh, particular output combination 15 if we make it 30 30 something like this as we increase the number of periods for this we will see more and more smoothing in the plotting of this uh, chart so here we have this uh, rvi now plotted on the four hourly time horizon for the 15 candlesticks so here we have this uh, lot more smoothing in the output plot for the rvi coming back to these uh, input parameters now let us change it to the 
combination which we have plotted it plotted on the chart so here and this will change to 50 and the resultant output values are uh, here for us to be used the RVI and the signal line as I said we can use the simple crossover kind of structure where we look for buying opportunity whenever we see the RVI value crossing above the signal line and we look for selling opportunity whenever we see the RVI value crossing below the signal line and uh, also there are many other possibilities also which you will have to figure out you will have to work on the permutation combinations and see what is the combination which is likely to bring you the best possible results then coming to the settings the offer side makes a slight difference if you are calculating on the bid side or the ask side there will be slight spread and because of that the output value will uh, differ to some extent applied price whether you want the candlesticks data to be used uh, on the closing basis or on the high low or uh, all these options are here so whichever way you want to work you can uh, use this applied price but since this uh, indicator block has a fixed formula and uh, because of that we don't really see much difference being made regardless of what kind of applied price is being used so that is uh, not going to make much of a difference so that's it from my side for uh, today's session and uh, if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write it in the comment section and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward thank you all for joining in have a blessed day ahead goodbye